This weekend, France will mark 75 years since the liberation of Paris. There will be ceremonies to remember the moment when the Free French and their allies entered the city after four years of Nazi occupation. A new museum will tell the dramatic story. The BBC's Tim Ormond reports. A dark symbol of the past, a reminder of Paris's occupation. Around 7,000 items are on display. Gas masks, pistols, flags, the lessons of the war still relevant today. Democracy is something you have to actually uh, discuss, protect and uh, take care of. So this museum is absolutely necessary for the knowledge and the history of Paris. As Allied troops sweep onwards towards Paris, a three-word announcement from the capital brings the great news, Paris is liberated. Millions took to the streets when the Allies entered the city in August 1944. Years of Nazi rule were over, Paris was finally free. The museum is built above a bunker used by resistance leaders during the war. In some ways, this is almost like hallowed ground. In fact, there is an aspect of emotion because, d'abord, it's very deep. There is a luminosity, a bit particular. In fact, there is an emotional aspect because we try to tell the story of how, deep underground, the resistance succeeded in organizing the liberation, little by little, under cover, in the days before this great historic event. The museum will officially open on Sunday, the date German soldiers finally surrendered, the day when occupation became liberation. Tim Allman, BBC News.